residents at this time to take shelter. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 horror film, The Spa. A film that is written and directed by D.M. Cunningham. And it stars uh, Jeannie Jeffries, Hayley Heslip, Peter Tell and Jackson Ezinga. Now this film follows a group of characters um, who are trying to make their way through... Um, a disease infected world is like this disease or like this mutating fungus that's happening um, that is causing chaos in society um, and it can this 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 mutating fungus kind of eats away at the human body rots it down um, and kind of mutates them into something else and what it mutates them into is almost like a cross between a zombie and like a creature design in John Carpenter's The Thing um, so it's almost like uh, Lovecraftian uh, in its approach, really, in a lot of ways. Um, and like I say, we we follow a group of characters, and it's almost like it's it's like a fluid anthology film. This film, um, it, it's it isn't an anthology film, but it, it it's kind of structured in a loose way, like an anthology film, in a sense of we'll we'll follow a character we'll see kind of their story play out and it usually ends with them kind of rotting down into one of these mutated fungus creatures and then we'll move on to the next character that might have interlinked to the last character kind of it kind of flows along like that although with some deviations here and there now the film itself is, is actually at times fairly effective and by that i mean the performances are decent enough uh, even though some of them are a little bit stronger than others but some of them are fairly decent the performances um the effects i think are the strongest part of this film uh, in regards to you know this this mutation and um and the effects that we see associated with that look pretty effective certainly for a low budget horror film and so i do applaud them for that um, there are a couple of moments where you'll be kind of wincing at, at what you're seeing and fans of body horror might be suitably impressed with some of the things that this film presents to you. Um, so there, there are some strengths here, you know what I mean? And I, and I think it's a decent idea, you know, telling the, tell, telling a story like this. You know, it's um, a pretty grim world, you know, where there's, everybody's like catching this mutated fungus disease and rotting down and trying to navigate your way through this world safely uh, with a slow realization of what actually is happening is a pretty decent concept now the the, the problems with this film are, are, are there's a few really there's pacing issues for a start it, it's just too slow in, in regards to how it's delivering it, the, the, the film um, and to the point where it because it, it's becoming dull there is like a, a synth heavy soundtrack that just kind of feels very samey. Um, I, I'm a big fan of synth soundtracks. I know they're kind of overused these days with Stranger Things and all that. Um, but I don't generally speaking mind them so much. But I think here it, it's, it doesn't lend itself to this film particularly well. Um, and the, the only way this film delivers exposition is in quite an unimaginative way is on like news reports on the radio and things like that that people are listening to so that's the only time you get any kind of snippet of information as to what's gone on or all that kind of stuff and it, it didn't feel like that he delivered that effectively enough basically um and the film wasn't overly scary i mean yes there are a couple of moments in it that will make you wince and turn away here and there and but there was nothing in it that kind of will have you on the edge of your seat uh, or anything like that and the, the majority of what it's addressing in this film you've seen done before and you've seen done better um so it, it, it's not again one of those horror films that is really going to you know you're going to watch and think wow that's really original what i'm watching here um, especially these days, I mean, the market has been absolutely flooded at the minute um, with like pandemic films or disease films and all that kind of stuff, and you know, and for the most part, uncreatively. 
Um, these pandemic films are like turning people into zombies. And while that is partly true here in this film, I think how it addresses it in this film is um, a little bit more creative than maybe some of the other films that I've watched that are kind of dealing with diseases and pandemics and things like that. So while I didn't really dislike this film immensely or anything like that, I did think there were some creative aspects to it. And I don't generally mind slower paced films, but I even I found this a bit of a drag occasionally. It did get to feel a little bit dull um, and it really did like drag its feet in regards to its storytelling and stuff. Um, and I just think there was a missed opportunity here for some really creepy and effective scenes. And it just felt like it was like retelling the same stuff over and over again. It doesn't. It wasn't creative or imaginative in how um, it told these people's story. It was like you got this one character came into contact with this mutated fungus thing. Generally speaking, they'd be infected, and then it'd move on to the next story, sort of thing, the next person. And it was like the same thing over and over again. So it was on a continuous loop over and over again, which just. You know, it just felt like it was the same thing over and over and over again in this film. And it never felt original. It never felt it like the movie or film evolved in its storytelling. It was just the same thing over and over again. So it got a bit dull and repetitive, especially with the slow pace. So I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. It's not a bad film. It's certainly watchable, certainly aspects of this film, especially the effects and things. Um, but it could have been so much better too. So that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And now we'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.